This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So last week, during our Instant Deck Decks, it was our Fishbowl Thursday Instant Deck Deck that came out on top. So this week, we are going to try out Forbidden Hunted Path, and this deck is crazy. It is a super crazy idea with tons of really weird, really bad combo pieces, hopefully combining together to do some really janky combo kills. So we'll see how it goes. It should be interesting. Also, Banner Monogon. We do have Banner Monogons. Like usual, gonna do a super quick two-minute deck deck just to remind you how the deck works. If you want to see a full breakdown, make sure to check out last week's Fishbowl Thursday deck deck where we go in-depth on Forbidden Hunted Path. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Forbidden Hunted Path for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Much of Brew in general, it would be amazing of you if you take a second click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen it's a great way to support the channel and the site for free so let's break down forbidden hunted Pass, starting with kind of our main combo pieces the idea of this deck is we are going to kill our opponent by giving them creatures so blood artist trespassers curse allow us to drain our opponent for one when a creature comes into play under our opponent's controls or when any creature dies we combine this with panormonicon to double up our draining ability and then we're looking to give our opponent creatures with Hunted Phantasm, Hunted Troll, putting five or four tokens onto the battlefield under our opponent's control. That is right off the bat four or five damage with Trespasser's Curse. But if we throw Panharmonicon in, Hunted Phantasm is going to double up its trigger. So it's going to be 10 tokens and Trespasser's Curse is going to double trigger. So that's going to be 20 damage. Trespasser's Curse with Panharmonicon out. Cast a Hunted Phantasm. Opponent dies on the spot. Hunted Troll almost gets our opponent there as well. A little short 16 drain damage with Trespasser's Curse if we have the combo going. Otherwise, Illness in the Ranks helps make sure that we don't die to the tokens we're giving our opponent. Also gives us a backup wind condition with blood artists the tokens come into play they drain on the way in with trespassers curse drain on the way out thanks to blood artists kind of another way to double up our draining damage otherwise forbidden orchard just gives us a land that fixes our mana and taps to give our opponent a token which means it's tapping to drain our opponent maybe multiple times with our other pieces to larry west to find our forbidden orchards ward gates tutors up our combo pieces serum visions to set things up fatal push damnation a bit of removal damnation especially helpful since we're giving our opponent tokens and there's a very big risk that we cast a hunted creature our opponent gets a bunch of tokens if we don't have our right combo pieces we just die to our own cards otherwise a bunch of mana fixing in the mana base some shock lands some basic lands sideboard a bunch of ways to protect our combo slow down our opponent thought seize negate swan song abrupt decay naturalized to deal with graveyard hate and whatever is troubling us dad big spear for combo nile spellbond for graveyards and that is forbidden hunted path for modern and that's our much brew deck for this week so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon all right much brew about nothing time we are playing forbidden hunted path in modern and eh, i mean i guess we'll keep this we could use a way to permanently kill our opponent's tokens well our tokens that we're going to give our opponent damnation is helpful but an illness in the ranks would be nice. Opponent, Black Leave Glyphs. And Thought Seize. All right. Oddly, if this is Mardu Pyromancer, illness in the ranks is just kind of good against a lot of their cards anyway, which is hilarious. Liliana is an issue. Opponents, thinking over their options, takes Hunted Troll. Okay. And passes. Well, Overgrown Tomb tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent, Planes. All right. Looks like Mardu Pyromancer. Uh, we never beat a Blood Moon. That's just not a thing that can happen. Well, run out, Blood Artist. Play Teleria West, pass the turn. Opponent. Oh, come on, no Blood Moons. Gets in with Pyromancer, sure. Down to 18. Bloodstained Mire. Cracks it. Oh, man. Swamp. Oh, this looks like Blood Moon mana. All right. And we will scoop it up. <laughs> The deck plays three basics. There's no way we can win through a Blood Moon. It's just, there's no, no way in the main deck. Oh, uh, okay. So we found a flaw with the plan of this deck. <laughs> well, let's bring in Abrupt Decays. That is an answer to a Blood Moon. Go down the War Gates. Um, 
Illness in the ranks on turn one sounds pretty appealing. Yeah, try it like that. Everything else is essentially either a combo piece or good in the matchup, so I don't think we can do any more than that. All right, we play first, and hmm, we are going to mulligan. All right, we'll try this. To Larry West, I guess to the bottom. Well, Breeding Pool untapped and Serum Visions. Damnation bottom, I guess Serum Visions top. Pass the turn. So we got lots of hunted creatures. We really need to find an illness in the ranks, most likely. Black Cleave Cliffs. Opponent. Faithless Looting. Also, finding Abrupt Decay. So we have a very tiny chance of beating a Blood Moon. Could be good. Well, let's Serum Visions. Oh, dear. Bottom, bottom. Overgrown Tomb tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent. Black Cleave Cliffs. And passes. Well, Vern Catacombs, go. I swear we put Vern Catacombs to the bottom. Opponent, Bloodstained Mire, cracks it. Sacred Foundry, untapped. And looting. All right. Well, opponent's doing their thing. Digging for their Blood Moons. Well, crack Vern Catacombs. Grab a Swamp, I guess. Untap. <laughs> oh, this deck. All right, Panharmonicon. You get a token, opponent. Yup. Well, uh, now we can do sweet things if we draw Trespasser's Curse. <laughs> uh, it's just hilarious because Panharmonicon, until we find a Trespasser's Curse, just makes these hunted cards even more likely to kill us. <laughs> like, we cast them and just immediately die. Because it'll give our opponent 10 tokens, which is great if those tokens are dying or draining our opponent. But otherwise, not the greatest. Opponent, yup, gets in, hits us. Down to 16. Swamp, Liliana. All right, that's not ideal. Takes up. Um, all right, discard Forbidden Orchard, I guess. <laughs> well, we got to kill this Liliana somehow. Here, take a token. We're just dead. We're just we're just super dead. Haunted Phantasm. <laughs> Would you like ten goblins about it? Uh, pass the turn. <laughs> oh, this deck's this deck's hilarious. It's great when we draw all of our pieces, but we need a we need like multiple things to come together for the deck to uh <laughs> to work. <laughs> And sometimes you just, we even cast two Serum Visions and we just didn't find our pieces, so. Found it. Gonna get in for a billion. Has not learned of the attack all button. All right, they got there. We will block a goblin. Down to five. <laughs> ticks, ticks down. All right. Well, we got a free goblin kill. Abrupt decay. Well, let's just show our opponent how many goblins we can give them. <laughs> we set a record for giving our opponent the highest number of lethal creatures. That's 20 goblins for six mana. Unfortunately, they're on our opponent's side of the battlefield and uh, we'll, we'll scoop it up. <laughs> ah, okay, sweet. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are playing Forbidden Hunted Path in Modern and we got the hunted part of our deck. Hopefully, we also have uh, the forbidden part. Hopefully we draw some way to deal with all the tokens we're going to give our opponent. Illness in the ranks is the big one. Well, overgrown doom. Tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent. Blood crypt. Untapped. Down to 18. Street wraith. All right, so this looks like death shadow, I would guess. Eh, maybe it's living end. Well, let's play forest. Pass the turn. Opponent. Uh, all right. Hollow one. Some sort of hollow one. Flame Blade Adept. Mountain. Opponent. Passing. Okay. Well, play the Swamp. Play Blood Artist. Pass the turn. We're finding some combo pieces. We need a way to deal with the tokens, though. Uh, all right. Bolt Blood, Ar Blood Artist. Well, let's just kill Flame Blade. We're going to do it anyway, so we might as well just get a Blood Artist trigger. Ping our opponent. Gain a life. Blood Artist. Ping our opponent, gain a life. Hmm. Opponent's down to 14. Uh, I don't think we can hunted troll. Faithless looting. 
If we hunted troll, opponent gets four one one flyers. Did they find hollow one? Cycle Street Wraith. Ew. Did they find multiple hollow ones? Bloodstained Mire. Cracks it. Opponent's down to eleven. Ugh. All right. Oh, is it like a Tassiger, maybe? Angler? All right, you're a Meg Angler. Opponent passes. Come on, deck. Damnation. <sighs> All right, play Forbidden Orchard. I think we're going to pass and wait one more turn before Damnation. Opponent can flashback Faithless Looting and land Hollow One if they find one. The only risk is our opponent finding a Thought Seize effect. Uh, brutality. All right. Ugh, brutality discard flame wake. Okay. Well, now I wish we had just killed your Meg Angler while we had the chance. <laughs> oh, this deck's so funny. All right, about it. You have one choice. It is damnation. I say you take it. That would be my prediction. I guess our opponent's probably frantically reading these hunted creatures. A lot of work for nothing, because <laughs> unless we draw at least one and maybe two other cards, they are just straight up uncastable so opponent gets back flame way hits us for a billion oh dear yep down to seven sure well all right serum visions opponent gets another threat no well, bottom top i guess pass the turn opponent goblin lore hollow one i mean this damnation gives us a slight bit of hope we're super low on life but we're down to five yep we do have things that can gain us back life eventually. Well, give our opponent a token. Damnation. Deal with the board, at least for the time being. Cycle Street Wraith. Looting. The scary thing is if our opponent finds another big threat, then they get back the hasty phoenix. And that's hard for us to deal with. Oh, another phoenix. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Hollow. Oh, three phoenixes. Okay. Well, now we're... We're running short on time here. <laughs> I think this was kind of like a Molda 4, when you consider that we just literally could not cast any of the hunted creatures without dying. That's the risk of the hunted creatures. Uh, when things are going well, they're like 10 damage burn spells. When things are going poorly, they're just cards that you literally cannot cast or else you kill yourself. Godless Shrine, well... Give our opponent a token, Serum Visions. I guess another Damnation would buy us a turn. And it's a land, and we will scoop it up. Okay! Uh, well, that didn't go super well for us. Back to the drawing board. We can bring in two Niles Bell Bombs. Go down probably two Fatal Pushes. The Fatal Pushes are just not very good in this matchup. And then Abrupt Decay is not great. Naturalize, Negate, Swan Song, Thought Seize. Oh, Wargate's so slow, but maybe it's fine. Maybe we just want actually the Fatal Pushes over Wargate. Wargate just seems epically slow. All right, let's try it like that. I mean, Damnation's good. Nile Spellbomb can be good. I think we really just want to have turn two. Aw, uh, Trespasser's Curse. Oh, well, we got lots of action, but no... Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Deck. Deck, deck, deck. Magic gods. <laughs> oh, someone. Someone save us. All right. Go, go. Five card hand go. Well, Teleria Wesco. This is not exactly what we were hoping for. But once you get to five, you just got to keep. Cross your fingers. Hope that maybe... I don't even know. Opponent accidentally misclick keep with a zero lander or something when they meant to hit mulligan. <laughs> we're, we're reaching deep to find hope. Flame Blade Adept. Well, we can Fatal Push that. It does cost us life. City of Brass. <laughs> Blood Artist. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think the thing I'm noticing with this deck is we have a lot of cards that are awesome in the best case uh, scenario, but they are very bad in a... Uh, in the worst case, and maybe even in the, like, average scenario. All right, Flame Lane Phoenix discarded, Pump's Flame Blade Adept, sure. So what are we hoping for here? Black Leaf Glyphs, Thoughtseize, oh, there goes our Fatal Push. 
Down to two cards. Yeah, I don't even know what we are hoping for. I guess just like combo pieces, like Trespassers Curse into Hunted into Hunted, something like that is probably our, our hope. Well, there's a Hunted. We just can't play it though. <laughs> if we play it, we give our opponent five one ones and then they attack us with those one ones. So now we want maybe Illness in the Ranks. Illness in the Ranks, Hunted Phantasm. Start getting Blood Artist triggers. That could work. Opponent. Goblin lore. All right. Makes the Flame Blade huge. Can get back the Flame Wake Phoenix if they want to. Opponent cracks. Gets a mountain. Uh, two Flame Wake Phoenixes. Well, they can get back one. Hit us for six. Well, we're going to need something like this turd. Opponent. Gets in. Gets in. Yep. Down to ten. Eventually. All right. Opponent gets in. Yep. Down to ten. Opponent passes. Polluted Delta. Well, play Polluted Delta. Pass the turd. Have we cast a spell this match? <laughs> I don't know if we have. Phone it. Untaps. Swamp. Goblin lore. Yeah. And that just does it, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I guess we technically drop to two. Gets Black Fame Wake. Uh-huh. Well... We did mulligan a lot in defense of <laughs> Forbidden Haunted Path. There were mulligans involved. Down to two. I'll crack this. Down to one. I mean, I guess in theory we could draw a damnation. Godless Shrine. And we will scoop it up. All right. All right. All right. All right. That was a rough one. All right. Much to brew about nothing time. We are playing Forbidden Hunted Path in Modern. And I guess we try this. We don't have any way to allow us to cast the hunted creatures. So we we do have a damnation. So I guess we're looking for Trespassers, Curses, Blood Artists, those type of effects. If we find them, our hunted creatures, Panharmonicon, and Damnation could win us the game. Telerio S, go. Opponent. Oh boy. Urza's Tower. Well, our opponent mulliganed once. That might give us a slight taste of hope. Oh, Verdant Catacombs go. Uh, is this a turn three Tron hand? It is not. Uh, I, oh, it's Blue Tron. Well, crack this. Grab a Breeding Pool. Tapped. Forbidden Orchard. Swamp go. Opponent. Cracks Expedition Map. So, like, these are one of the scenarios, like, we could play Hunted Phantasm, but what do we really get out of it? Nothing? All right. Tron will be assembled. Opponent passes. Well, play Forbidden Orchard. I mean, I guess we start playing stuff. Hunted Phantasm. The other problem is Blue Tron has infinite counters, so... Opponent gets five one ones. Oh, or they just remand. That works as well. Pass the turn. Opponent... Urs is mine. And passes. Well, play an island. Play Panharmonicon. Opponent. Counters. Scries. Hmm. Yeah. Well. <laughs> uh, I guess the good news is once our opponent starts mind slavering us, we don't really have any good cards to cast, so gotcha. Um, Hunted Phantasm. I don't know why our opponent's aggressively countering this. It's insanely beneficial for our opponent and insanely bad for us so i really have no idea why our opponent <laughs> doesn't want this to resolve i mean i guess you see a hunted phantasm and you're like eh, something sketchy has got to be happening like i i can't let that resolve but jokes on our opponent like <laughs> we're trying to help you out here buddy <laughs> those are <laughs> those are five goblins going to you all right go ahead <laughs> Uh, this deck's hilarious. We're probably not going to win many slash any games. Hopefully we we do our thing at least once. Oh, Ugin. Oh, and it's colorless. <laughs> okay. About it. Uh-huh. Now it looks like they're going to attack and then exile everything with Ugin. Well, I guess we kill Snapcaster. Drop to 11. Opponent, Ugin. Well, here you go, opponent. What do you say about some fairies? <laughs> how, how would you... How would you like that? <laughs> would you like some flyers to kill us with? <laughs> Pass the turn. I mean, we can play Blood Artist, but then it just gets exiled too. I don't really know what our end game here is. Like, I, 
I don't know what we're hoping for now that there's an Ugin, but we'll keep casting hunted creatures, and our opponent will keep countering them for... <laughs> Oh, Mind Slaver. All right. Now we're going to concede. I'm not going to let our opponent see our deck, play our deck. That's where we draw the line. You can counter our hunted creatures, but you can't Mind Slaver our turn. All right. Well, Damping Sphere in. Thoughtseize definitely in. Swan Songs negates in. Go down Fatal Pushes. Go down Damnations and War Gates. And... Swan Song gets artifacts, right? Enchantment, instant... Uh oh never mind. Well, it still counters a counter. But we do need some removal. Hmm. Maybe we go one Swan Song, one Damnation. All right, we play first. All lands, Panharmonicon. That's not going to combo off. All right, I guess we'll give this a go. We got a Blood Artist and a Swan Song? Well, keep Thoughtseize. Watery Grave, tapped, pass the turn. Vote it. Urs is power plant. Well, we're just going to Thought Seize. Maybe get rid of something that can help assemble Tron. Supreme Will, Dismember, Mind Slaver, Tron Land. And Thirst. Well, take Thirst. Watery Grave, tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent. River of Tears. And passes. Well, play the island. Play Blood Artist. So we need a way to... We need an Illness in the ranks. <laughs> and a Panharmonicon. A couple more Hunted Creature. Maybe an additional Blood Artist. And then... Then we got him. <laughs> then we got him. Look out. Mono Blue Tron. I guess technically Blue Black Tron. Although I think it's mostly Mono Blue. This is probably just like paying for Dismember or something. Tower for our opponent. Well, I mean, I think we need this Blood Artist to live. It is kind of one of our combo pieces. Oh, boy. That means Tron and Mind Slaver. Forbidden Orchard, go. Well, we don't get Mind Slaver this turn. It's going to take two turns. And our opponent can't really do much with our turn. I mean, I guess they can give themselves a Forbidden Orchard token. Opponent. Assembling Tron. Yep, hers is mine. Plays it. And passes. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't think we can play the Hunted Troll. So we'll just pass. The other thing our opponent can do when they take our turn is smash Blood Artist into the bird. So we're going to lose one of our combo pieces. Opponent. Caw, caw. Gets in with the bird. That is 16. Yup. City of Brass. Oh my god. Well, we're going to cast it. Whatever. See, our opponent's probably going to counter it anyway because they have a... Irrational fear of us giving them tokens for free. Hunted Troll. We're missing, like, illness in the ranks, at least. <laughs> I mean, I guess we've gotten a lot of value out of eating counter spells with this really bad Hunted Troll. Send a message. I mean, if we're going to lose and not actually do anything, we're at least going to get in with Blood Artist for zero. Opponent. Thirst. Uh huh. I guess they're waiting to play and activate Mind Slaver in the same turn, which means one more Tron land. Opponent. Island. Gets in with the bird. Down to 13. And passes. Oh, God. Well, let's hold the land. Maybe it'll scare our opponent out of casting Mind Slaver somehow. Opponent. Ugh, more thirst. Well, thirst kind of begat more thirst. Drawing these three is a pretty good way to... Draw three more. Opponent. Field of Ruin. Yep. Down to 11. Over on Dune tapped. <laughs> Let's draw. Uh, well, I'm pretty, gl pretty glad our opponent countered our Hunted Troll because if uh, if that had resolved, Ugin, all right. And we'll scoop it up. If that had resolved, we would have died to the, to the tokens by now. So thank you, opponent, for keeping us alive. Well... On to the next one. We're going to get it sooner or later, I swear. All right. Macha Brew About Nothing time. Forbidden Hunted Path. And this is kind of kind of the nut draw. I mean, we have an illness in the ranks, which makes me happy because that is one of our most important cards. Illness in the ranks, go. Opponent. Island. Oh, it's control. Ancestral suspended. Opponent passes. Well, Pluto Delta. Crack it. 
Grab a breeding pool, untapped, and serum visions. Well, Fatal Push Bottom, Overgrown Tomb, top. Pass the turn. Ancestral, taken down. Well, maybe our opponent's planning on killing us with Secure the Waste. And then, haha, good luck with that plan. Blood Artist, Overgrown Tomb, go. Vote it. Yup. Escanta, search for Escanta. Mills of Land, Ancestral, taken down. Field of Ruin. All right. Hunted Troll that we can't cast. Well, pass the turn. Opponent. Yup. Doing their thing. Taken down. Taken up. Millen lands. Next turn they get to draw. Oh, it's Jace. Here comes the Jace. Yup. Jace down. Brainstorms. Well, if we can draw some lands, we actually get to do something. All right. Not a land. Pass the turn. Well. <laughs> Ancestral, take it down. Is Kanta doing its thing? Oh, Nexus of Fate. Good God. We're getting we're getting comboed. Oh no. And they miracle the temporal mastery? Oh, this is all kinds of not good. Opponent. Suspends another ancestral. Brainstorms with Jace. Island. Well, there's probably a pretty good chance that our opponent goes infinite here. Is Kanta. Not ready to flip quite yet. Mills Ancestral. Time Warp. Extra turn. Brainstorms. Oh, takes up Jace. Okay. Yeah, our opponent most likely can just take up Jace until they kill us. Mills a Dawn Charm. Island. Tapping. Untapping. Time Warp. Brainstorms. Oh my god. As Kanta's been flipped. I mean. Do y'all want to watch uh, watch the combo? It's very slow and basically like stamp. <laughs> all, right, all right, brainstorm. That explains the brainstorm. Opponent wanted to put back temporal mastery. Extra turn. As for told, new turn. <laughs> Take it up, as for told. Take it down, ancestral. Drawing within. It's been four turns. Oh man, I think our opponent has taken enough turns that they. Oh my goodness, and they miracle another one. Oh boy, yes. And we know they have his Kanta, so they will go infinite, infinite, eventually. Opponent. Cycles Angel Song. And this is basically just Turbo Fog. It's, I mean, blue-white turns, but with some fogs thrown in. Free Ancestral. And I think we can scoop it up now. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna concede. At this point, just like in Standard, there's not really any chance that our opponent is not going to find extra turn spells even just would search for his kanta uh okay swan songs thought seizes negates those are our defenses abrupt decay hmm well we can't play damnation opponent has no creatures we can't play fatal push so we just need to lean on finding this illness in the ranks or killing our opponent with blood artist maybe we go down the war gates for uh, do we want Abrupt Decays to fight As Foretold and Iskanta, or Nile Spellbombs to fight Snapcaster and Iskanta? Neither one feels great. Well, let's go one and one. Split the difference. Try it like that. They both feel kind of, like, mediocre. All right. We get to play first one land, Serum Visions. Well, I mean, I think we keep this. We trust that Serum Visions is going to smooth out our land draws. So Watery Grave, untapped. Serum Visions, please, oh no. Oh dear, dear me, pass the turn. Uh, okay, there were no lands on the top of our deck. Well, there's a land. So now we get to Thought Seize our opponent. Reman, Spell Snare, is good God. As Kanta, as foretold, Temporal Mastery. Well, take as Kanta, Verdant Catacombs. Crack for in catacombs. Overgrown tomb. Untapped. And illness in the ranks. Pass the turn. Well, we got tokens covered. Twice, actually. We can take care of two two tokens. Island for our opponent. And passes. Well, illness in the ranks. You. I think we need to counter this as foretold. Field of ruin. Yeah, let's swan song. Haha! -ha! No token! Double illness in the ranks. I mean, we're kind of getting close to there. Blood Artist, go. If we draw green mana, we can start attempting to cast Hunted Trolls. There is a remand. 
Opponent. Yep. Suspended. Hollowed fountain tapped. Land. Come on, land. All right. Well, I mean, opponent does get tree man, but hunted troll. This is our deck kind of doing what it wants to do. I mean, the remand is preventing it, but pass the turn. If our opponent doesn't have an extra turn spell, maybe we can do it next turn. It is a fast clock. We drain for four, and we get a a big creature. So, Hunted Troll. Please no second remand. Hoo-hoo! All right! Hunted Troll, drain you. Oh, imagine if we had a Panharmonica out while we were doing this. Drain our opponent to 16. Pass the turn. Ancestral ticking down. We're to the point of the game, though, where pretty much at any point, our opponent could just take infinite turns. Thoughtseize is kind of helpful. Let's get in with Hunted Troll. Hit our opponent. Thoughtseize our opponent. Cycles Angel Song. Well, take Temporal Mastery. We're actually presenting lethal? Well, um, put on top, put on top. We're kind of illness in the ranks flooded. Pass the turn. Our opponent actually needs something here. Or we can, or we might be getting a win. Land to Fairy. Tux Hunted Troll. Well, play Hunted Troll. Drain our opponent to four. Oh. Is this Teferi top deck going to beat us? I think it is. Pass the turn, because our opponent's going to get Ancestral. And now they can probably proceed to go infinite. Oh, we were so close. Well, that was our deck kind of doing its thing. So, I mean, compared to some of our games where we have done just literally nothing, this was... Kind of the most impressive performance for our deck. Bounces Hunted Troll. Suspends Ancestral. Untaps. Well, I mean, they must have drawn something. Hunted Troll. Snapcaster for Remand. Yup. Oh, uh, well, we gave a deck with Jason Teferi a pretty good run for its money. By the standards of Forbidden Hunted Path, this is kind of like a win because we actually assembled our combo pieces and drained them. Like we didn't win, but our standards are are reducing. <laughs> we just want to actually do something with our cards before we lose. That's that's our new standard with this deck. <laughs> we just want to do something cool. <laughs> Wins and losses, they're secondary. Phone it. All right, and now we're gonna call it a call it a day. Wit to fairy and Jace. And Ancestral suspended. There's no way we're getting another turn from here. Well, I mean, it seems weird to say this as we just lost again, but that was close. We actually were so close that a somewhat real deck had to top deck to beat our deck. Well, <laughs> one game. We almost got a game off of a real deck. So, uh, heading in the right direction for Forbidden Hunted Path-ish. All right. Ma to brew about nothing time. We are playing... Forbidden Hunted Path in Modern, and this sounds interesting. We have Illness in the ranks, so we're not going to die as we're playing Hunted Trolls. We don't really have a payoff for giving our opponent tokens yet. We need a, like, a Blood Artist or something. We need something to take advantage of giving our opponent tokens. So, Forbidden Orchard, make black, Illness in the ranks. Pass the turn. Well, uh, so far we got a combo that lets us have a City of Brass that doesn't damage us. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth multiple cards, but hopefully we draw some things to go with it. We need a uh, Watery Grave. Okay. Watery Grave tapped. Opponent passes. Well, Watery Grave tapped. Pass the turn. This is a hand that could be pretty explosive, though. Like, if we resolve our stuff, get down, like, a Trespasser's Curse and a Panharmonicon, these Hunted Trolls are going to be insane. Opponent. Ooh, Miss Maricorb. All right, so we're getting milled. Please not Trespasser's Curse. Oh, boy. Well, we mill a land. <laughs> Draw Hunted Troll number three. Okay, I don't know if we have any real plan for Mill other than just combo killing them. The good news is they shouldn't have too many counters. Mill usually cannot play too many counters. The bad news is this hand does not do much of anything. Ugh, and Field of Ruin can kill our Forbidden Orchard. Glimpse. Well, there goes the Trespasser's Curse. And essentially all of our Hunted Phantasms. 
Well, here we'd settle even just for a land to cast Hunted Troll. All right, there's a land. Well, I mean, I guess that's our plan. We play Hunted Troll and <laughs> Pete down with an 8 4. <laughs> just how Rosewater <laughs> intended. Phone gets milled. I mean, an 8 4 is kind of big. That's a two and a half turn clock opponent island if they play ensnaring bridge then this plan is not good field of ruins well grab our forest archive trap down to 25 glimpse down to 15 yeah now we're to the point where we're dead to a mill spell well get in with hunted troll hit our opponent yeah and i mean i think all we can do is play hunted troll and hope our opponent has no mill spells in hand. And no ensnaring bridges and no crypt incursions. So I guess all lands. Oh man. Draws three. If they got nothing, we can steal the win. What do you got, opponent? Say it's nothing. <laughs> and the jankiest of jank beatdowns can actually get the job done. Opponent. Thinking. Hedron Crab. Hideaway land. Hedron Crab actually keeps us from winning. Just the chump blocking ability. And all of our fatal pushes are in the graveyard. Oh, uh, well, I guess it's fitting that the janky beatdowns of hunted trolls are stymied by the janky blocking of Hedron Crab. Oh, our opponent just had the win the entire time. I see. I see. All right. Well, opponent had the win. So we can bring in Negate. We can bring in maybe like Swan Song, Thoughtseize, Abrupt Decay. Go down Fatal Push. Go down Damnation. Go down. I guess it's got to be War Gates. Go down War Gates. Try it like that. All right. So we had like two parts of our combo. We had a way to not die to the creatures. Well, okay. This we will try. Um, <laughs> we don't have a way to kill the creatures, but we can just try to race, which I guess is our main plan. Tap land for our opponent. So Godless Shrine untapped, Trespasser's Curse. So now we just start playing stuff and <laughs> see if Trespasser's Curse plus Hunted Creatures can beat the creatures we're giving giving our opponent all right hedron crab mills us field of ruin well there's the mill yep 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 opponent passes well play forbidden orchard give our opponent a token drain him for one play hunted phantasm give our opponent a bunch of tokens Ooh, these are old school goblins yep drain our opponent for five past the turn there's a chance this is fast enough opponent dark slick shores mills us yep and extirpates hunted troll. Okay, well, we did want to cast one of those. So, trolls down. Well, come on, Phantasm. Also, Forbidden Orchard. It's up to you, opponent. Mesmeric Orb. So, the nightmare is Mesmeric Orb mills hunted Phantasm and our opponent is surgical. That would be very bad. Opponent. No attacks. Well, here's the mills. Well,. Play Forbidden Orchard. Give our opponent a token. Give our opponent a token. And Hunted Phantasm. Give our opponent a bunch of tokens. Drain our opponent to six. Hit our opponent with Hunted Phantasm. And this might be enough. We have our opponent. We have three lethal threats and a swan song, which actually drains our opponent for one here. That would be the most hilarious kills if our opponent played a creature and then a spell and we could get the swan song bird kill. <laughs> <laughs> the bird kill's gotta be gotta be the least likely kill and a ball scoops it up okay uh well i guess just trespassers curse hunted phantasm is kind of good in its own weird way uh all right run it back run it back see if we can get the win hmm well this hand gives our opponents tokens but does not kill them with the tokens actually we probably die with the tokens we're gonna mulligan Eh, all right. We got a Blood Artist, at least. And we get a Scry and a Serum Visions. Hmm. 
Eh, let's keep Abrupt Decay. That does answer Mesmeric Orb or Crab. Tap land for our opponent. Well, Watery Grave, untapped. Certain Visions. All right. Well, one, two, three. Put on top, put on top. Those are cards we were kind of looking for. Pass the turn. Island. Unfortunately, those cards might just get milled, which is kind of the drawback. They are getting milled. Glimpse. Well, let's see what we draw. Blood Artist. Play City of Brass. Play Blood Artist. Pass the turn. Drowned Catacombs. Glimpse. All right, Pono's just milling big old chunks of our deck. Well, there's Illness. So play Illness in the ranks. Play Forbidden Orchard. <laughs> Make some mana. Drain our opponent. Play Blood Artist. Pass the turn. There's the crab. And a land does some milling. Yep. Opponent's only got two cards in hand. Manic Scribe does some milling. One card in hand. Opponent's passing. Well, let's Thought Seize our opponent. Take Archive Trap. Drain our opponent. Abrupt Decay Hedron Crab. Drain our opponent. There's actually hope. There's hope. Pass the turn. We need a land. That's a main thing we need. And our opponent not to draw something insane. Field of Ruin. Uh, if that's a strip mine, that's devastating. Hopefully we have a basic forest. We do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We actually have a lot of lands left. We have 10 lands out of 22 cards. So our odds of drawing a land are not bad. Oh, that turns on the mill? Well, that's Serum Visions. Put on bottom, put on top. Watery Grave tapped, pass the turn. Well, let's see what our opponent draws. We're one mill spell away from them killing us. We're close to killing them, but we need to pan our Monicon and then Hunted Troll. Opponent mills us. Well, I mean, we got to do Panarmonicon first. Just Hunted Troll is only eight damage. Play Panarmonicon. Well, this is it. If our opponent doesn't top deck the kill, Hunted Troll gets him. Come on. Come on. One turn. One turn. Panarmonicon kill. Drop Catacombs. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, we had to get a little lucky with our opponent whiffing. Opponent mills us down to 10. However, we have exactly the right mana to Hunted Troll, doubled up thanks to Panharmonicon, and that is 16 Blood Artist triggers. Opponents at 15! We got it! We got the kill! We got the kill for Binda Hunted Path! Panharmonicon! Wow! Wow! All right, opponent drained. Hunted Troll number two. One, opponent scoops it up! Opponent scoops it up! We got him! We got him! Man, all right, the deck could work. The deck could work. We prove that it's possible. I mean, albeit against Blue Black Mill, but still, that's a win for Forbidden Hunted Troll, sweet. So what do we learn about Forbidden Hunted Path in Modern? And ah, that was a rough one. We played five matches. We won one of them, finally running into the Mill deck, which kind of things came together. And in all honesty, this was definitely way, way more of an against the odds deck than a deck that really has a chance to be competitive. So the big challenge and problem with the deck is all of its combo pieces are really, really bad unless you're comboing off. If you just go down the list of cards in our deck, illness in the ranks. Like, sure, maybe it randomly hoses a token deck, but it basically does nothing unless we're playing one of our hunted creatures. Our hunted creatures, we had many games where we could literally not cast them, or we would die to the tokens we were giving our opponent, so they're literally uncastable. Unless we have multiple other pieces, at least illness in the ranks, or maybe like Trespasser's Curse plus Blood Artist, so we can't really cast those. Blood Artist just kind of sits there and dies to things until we have Illness in the Ranks or Damnation along with a Hunted Creature. Wargate was just way too expensive to ever do anything. So all around, the deck was just really janky. It was cool to see it finally go off. However, there is a bit of good news, and the good news is, while this isn't going to fix a deck and make it a tournament deck, I did do a bit of an update, which I tried to keep the initial idea of the deck. Obviously, 
I think that the deck, it just plays too many bad cards to ever be competitive, but I did make a few slight changes. So the updated version, Forbidden Unit Path version 2, does a lot of the same things, except we get a couple of changes. We get Thoughtseize as just a good card in our deck, a way to interact with our opponent, a way to do something on turn 1. Also, Curse of Death's Hold, while not as efficient with the combo since it comes down later, gives us a card that's actually good against other things. Illness in the Ranks was very very disappointing because it would just sit out on the battlefield also kind of tuned up the sideboard with some damping spheres and stuff so this deck it still suffers from the same problem of the original deck which is we're playing a lot of combo pieces that don't do anything until we combo off and almost every single one of those combo pieces are not strong cards or even castable cards on their own but I feel like this build gives us a little bit more in other matchups the thought seizes are pretty helpful curse of death hold is at least an attempt to play a combo piece that is good in other matchups when we're not comboing off it actually does something sometimes against like affinity or some other decks like that so i recorded a couple matches with this build as well so before we write off the deck all together let's jump into the last two matches all right much brew about nothing time we are playing oh boy forbidden hunted path in modern and uh all right we'll keep this we have trespassers curse we have Hunted Phantasm. We are going to need a way to kill the tokens. Vern Catacombs. Pwn, it cracks it. Well, or we just get hit by discard, and then, then we need everything. Over on Doom. Untap. Down to 17. And Inquisition. Well, let's see if our opponent makes the right choice. I think you got to just take Trespasser's Curse here. We can kill Tarmogoyce for a minute, so that's something. We did really want this Trespasser's Curse, though. <laughs> uh, the stack. Takes Trespasser's Curse. All right, opponent figured it out. Hmm. Well, City of Brass. World's most painful thought sees. All right, we'll take Traverse. We have a million answers to Grim Flare, and we don't especially care about Fatal Push. Bobble. Takes a peek. Wooded foothills. Cracks it. Yep. Gets a forest. Alright, there's a Grim Flare. Opponent passes. Draws a card. Well, Fatal Push Grim Flare. Overgrown Tomb. Tapped. Pass the turn. We could use some combo pieces. Something like a Liliana would be really difficult for us to beat here. Vern Catacombs. Opponent passing. We'll play Forbidden Orchard. Yeah, I guess we just gotta pass. If we play Hunted Phantasm, our opponent Fatal pushes it, and then we just lose to the Goblins. Opponent, Stomping Grounds, tapped. Mountain for our opponent. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, Blood Blade Elf. Into Traverse with uh, enough cards in the graveyard. All right. Well, that's not good. Gets another Blood Braid. Gets in with Blood Braid. We're down to 13. Oh, dear. Well, we're kind of seeing the downside of our deck is that when it's when it's bad, it's really bad. <laughs> um, all right. Forbidden Orchard, go. Like, we can't even really cast this because it just kills us. So we're seeing the drawback of the hunted creatures, and if we had even our Trespasser's Curse, at least we could be casting stuff, but now, tapping our lands kills us, casting our cards kills us. <laughs> uh, Potifies a thought, see, sure. Yeah, uh, I guess they take our Fatal Push, most likely. We're gonna need to draw something this turn, I think. Takes Hunted Troll. Well... We couldn't really cast that without dying anyway, so... Opponent's gonna hit us for six, though. Blood Crypt. Tapped. Opponent. Well, Blood Braid into Traverse for Blood Braid seems good. Draws a card. Yep. Haunted Phantasm. And we just can't cast it. We cast it and we literally just die. <laughs> oh, this deck. This deck. Okay. Uh, opponent's playing Abzan Traverse. Um... Maybe we, like, go down a couple of Thought Seizes for Nile Spell Bombs. And 
thought sees damnation try it like that we really need to stick something in the early game like illness in the ranks even the trespassers curse then we could have at least cast our stuff having a bunch of uh well okay we have illness in the ranks unfortunately our mana is not going to allow us to <laughs> cast any of our spells but we do have illness in the ranks so illness in the ranks go opponent mishra's bobble and treetop village and passes opponent cracks sure i'll play the island play blood artist pass the dirt mishra's bobble opponent draws forbidden orchard was a pretty good draw that does actually let us start casting things copperline gorge and goif well we got something better than a goif forbidden orchard make a token token dies ping our opponent play hunted phantasm make five tokens tokens die ping our opponent this is more like it this is more like it ping our opponent ping our opponent yeah down to 14 pass the turn and now we have a four six unblockable and we're up to 26 unfortunately we can't cast hunted troll at the moment but hopefully that changes overgrown tomb untapped all right kills phantasm we ping our opponent come on green source another forbidden orchard would be the best opponent hits us down to 24 hmm well play a blood artist well ping our opponent make a token that dies watery grave goo man if our opponent has nothing and we draw a green source we just win it's that simple it's that simple that's what we need oh god almighty all right well now we need multiple things because our opponent playing maelstrom pulse tribal down to five ah uh -huh. we're gonna draw the green source now i know it opponent gets in with goif yep passes overgrown tomb tapped well godless shrine go pass the turn Bloodbraid elf into thought sees yep can take our damnation opponent is down to three that means it doesn't take much to kill our opponent takes the troll all right interesting opponent gets in uh, we're down to 21 opponent stomping grounds tapped well damnation clear the board come on trespassers curse trespassers curse hunted phantasm or even just trespassers curse forbidden orchard uh liliana takes up there goes hunted phantasm yep discards inquisition opponent passes hmm. all right hunted phantasm no value dies to liliana takes down yep haunted phantasm dead opponent gets back blood braid uh we were so close passes oh man maybe trespassers curse pass the turn we might still be getting there we got the forbidden orchard takes up opponent can't really play creatures they gotta deal with trespassers curse they're gonna die to forbidden orchard discards inquisition if they play a creature they're dead to blood braid tarmogoyf yeah cast that opponent i dare ya i dare ya well we will add a mana give you a token <laughs> got him we got him and a photo scoops it up it was looking grim through the lilianas the deck is weirdly sort of kind of working i will never understand why but it sort of is well, let's bring in Maelstrom Pulse, go down another Thought Seize, and run it back! Run it back! Also, we do not need this Godless Shrine. So when I updated the deck from our opponent's build, I apparently forgot to remove Godless Shrine. We don't have white cards anymore. Wargate was just way too slow, at least in my experience. So we can, uh, we can update the mana. I didn't realize it until we, uh, drew it. Hmm. 
Okay, I guess we keep. Niall's Spellbomb is relevant. Well, all right. Niall's Spellbomb is gone. Well, we're basically hoping to draw stuff that works with our Hunted Troll. And we got our Very Sad Godless Shrine again. That should not be in our deck. Yup. Overgrown Tomb tapped. Pass that hurt. Tap land for our opponent passes. Hmm. Oh, Polluted Delta. Crack it. Grab a breeding pool and run out. Blood artist, pass the turn. Vern catacombs for our opponent. Cracks Vern catacombs. Swamp and kills blood artist. Yup. Opponent passes. Well, Godless Shrine tapped. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent and. Uh-oh. Crack in the lands. Blood braid, maybe? Overgrown tomb. Untapped. Well, there's blood braid. Into Tarmogoyf. Sure. Yep. Opponent. Getting in. Down to 15. Well, Verdant Catacombs. Crack it. Grab a swamp. And yeah, we just need to... Damnation. Pass the turn. Oh, we got some good things in hand. What does our opponent have? Oh, not discard. Ugh, Fulminator. That's actually kind of obnoxious. Blows up a land. That does mean we need to draw a land. Well, Trespasser's Curse. Go. Yeah, Fulminator is pretty bad for us. Now we don't even have blue mana, period. Liliana. Takes it up. Well, we'll discard Serum Visions. Oh, boy. Fulminator got us. Also, this Godless Shrine arguably got us. Opponent's thinking. <laughs> Maybe they're regretting taking up this Liliana. All right. Discard Serum Visions since we have a Godless Shrine. Opponent discards Maelstrom Pulse. And passes. Well, play Teleria West. Pass the turn. Uh, this Liliana. It shall be the death of us, I think. Ticks up. Discard, Hunted Troll. Opponent. <laughs> Fulminator. Jeez, they brought in Mono Fulminators, didn't they? Now we're a million lands away from doing anything. Illness in the ranks. You. Yeah. Now we're super duper double dead. Because our opponent can just ultimate Liliana. Fulminator, uh pretty good against our mana base and even more so against our current mana base which is playing godless shrine for no reason all right liliana to ultimate mode we don't have any draws that can stop this we actually just don't have any relevant draws period i think it is time for us to scoop it up all right much brew about nothing time it is officially panamonicon week and we are playing Forbidden Hunted Path, our <laughs> Fishbowl Thursday instant deck deck deck, and uh, yeah, should be interesting. Let's see how this goes. Uh, we have Blood Artist, we have Trespasser's Curse, we have a Blue Damnation. This hand seems relatively fine. Opponent passes. Well, Polluted Delta, crack it. Grab a Swamp, and let's just Trespasser's Curse. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Steam vents. Uh-oh. Are we getting stormed? Uh, hopefully we're not getting stormed. It looks like we might be getting stormed. Sulfur Falls. Apply for Bin Orchard. Play Blood Artist. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent. Oh. Dragon's Horde. Okay, spicy. Well. Um, yeah, let's drain our opponent. Give him a token. Untap. City of Brass and. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I guess we're doing it. Opponent gets a token. We lose a life. Man, this deck. All right. We take some damage from City of Brass. Forbidden Orchard gives our opponent a token. Opponent gets drained. Hunted Troll. Drain, 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 drain. Opponent down to 13. We're up to 24. But unfortunately, our opponent has a lot of uh, creatures now. We do have a Damnation, which could be good. Haven of the Spirit Dragon. Damnation is not quite enough for us to win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, our deck is kind of doing its thing, though. 
We can put our opponent pretty low, potentially. Gets in, gets in, gets in, gets in. Sure. I will block. Drain our opponent. Down to 12. And here comes a dragon. Oh, dragon's horde number two. Okay. And anger of the gods. Well, that's annoying. Let's well, serve visions. Hmm. Well, put on top, put on top. Play Forbidden Orchard. Pass the turn. I guess our plan is just to see if we can Forbidden Orchard, orchard our opponent out of the game. The anger was brutal. Dragon Lord Ojitai. Opponent gets drained. Yup. Get some Dragon Horde counters. Draws a card. Well, let's make some tokens, drain our opponent. Opponent passes. <laughs> All right. I guess we're going to let our opponent hit us once with Ojitai to get down Curse of Deathhold. Pass the turn. This might be fast enough. We have the tokens locked out. We have another Forbidden Orchard on top of our deck, so we might be able to just land our opponent out of the game before they can kill us. Good God. It's kind of working-ish. Even through an Anger of the Gods, which was really good for our opponent. Gets in with Ojitai. Yep. Hits us. Down to 21. Because we're also gaining life. Like, our opponent's got a million cards in hand. The question is, can they find a way to answer this Trespasser's Curse before we just straight up kill them with... By tapping Forbidden Orchards. <laughs> uh, and this was without Panharmonicon. Panharmonicon would double up the Trespasser's Curse damage. I think we would have won by now if this Anger wasn't a thing. Pwn it. Yep, grab something with Ojitai. Trying to cast something during their damage step. Yep. Sarkin. Loots. Discard Sarkin. And passes. Well, we draw Forbidden Orchard. Make it kill some tokens, trade our opponent, and damnation. And if Hulk it up, we got there. We got there. It worked. It worked. It worked. Well, no Panarbonicon yet, but that kind of did what we were hoping it would do. So our opponent's playing some crazy dragon deck. Blue, red, just guy, something dragons. I don't even know. We want a sideboard. I don't know what our opponent's deck is. Um... What would be good? Maelstrom Pulse. Maybe Damnation. What do we go down, though? We didn't see any Fatal Push targets. Let's go up Maelstrom Pulse. Go up Damnation. We could also Swan Song. <laughs> Let's try it like that. Let's try it like this. I mean, I guess we're just happy that we actually got a, got a win. All right. And ew. we're on the draw. We only got one land. Oh, dear. Now we're on the draw. We have zero lands. All right. Go, go. Five-card hand. Panharmonicon's got to go to the bottom. I think our best hope here is just to draw lands and play our stuff, as weird as that sounds. So, Polluted Delta, crack it. Grab a watery grave. Untapped. Illness in the ranks. Opponent cracks. Steam vents tapped. All right. No creature tokens for you. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent. Passes. Well, Verdant Catacombs. Man, we're doing a lot of damage to ourselves. Crack it. Breeding pool. Untapped. Run out. Blood artist. All right. Opponent's got the remand. Well, pass the turn. Opponent passing. Well, let's Trespasser's Curse. Oh, more remands. Oh, <laughs> Slavgar scored! Uh, I guess we could have played around that, but I didn't know we had to. Scalding Darn for opponent. Passes. Well, opponent's got lots of counters. Let's try this again. Trespasser's Curse number two. Come on, resolve! Opponent remands. Oh my god, this is getting obnoxious. Pass the turn. Uh, and then opponent's gonna play something huge, and things are gonna go wrong. Opponent, Solver Falls, hitting their land drops, passing, land please, hunted troll. Well, Trespasser's Curse. Hey, all right, we have a Trespasser's Curse. We still do not do want lands. Opponent cracks a Scalding Tarn. Opponent, Sarkin's Triumph to tutor up a dragon. 
Uh, opponent's got the spice going over there. Spice and remands. But we... Oh, Dragon Lord Dramoka. Okay. If our opponent gets the mana for that, that's bad. And it looks like they kind of are. Glorybringer. All right. Well, opponent gets drained. Can we raise? Opponent. Get in with the glory rigger. Sure, down to 11. We get a city of brass. Well, let's just... Oh, man. Oh, I think we got a hunted troll. We gain four. Because then if we can blood artist... If we draw a land and can blood artist hunted phantasm, or we just play phantasm because it also lets us... Yeah, maybe we phantasm... Because Phantasm also just lets us attack, and it doesn't die to Glorybringer. So we get five Trespassers Curse Triggers. Opponent down to 12, we're up to 16. And we got a 4-6 Unblockable, past the turn. Haven of the Sphere Dragon. Opponent's getting close to Dromoka. More dragons. Glorybringer number two, good god. Opponent down to 11, though. Okay. Attacks, exerts, attacks, exerts. Hits us. Oh, only exerts one. Interesting. Okay. They must have a bolt. And a bolt. All right, Dak. Be good to us. Down to nine. Verdant Catacombs. Maybe we could have waited. Crack Verdant Catacombs. Grab a forest. Play Hunted Troll. Pwn it down to seven. But they could just exert a Glory Brigger. Oh, no. Oh, we should have played it differently. Well, I guess it's hard to predict second glory bringer mountain for our opponent dragon sword two cards in hand one of them's dromoka opponent passing well go to combat attack with the troll opponent blocks we will regenerate kill glory bringer play trespassers curse take one blood artist Pass the turn. It's all going to be about resolving this troll. Pwn it. Sarkid's Triumph. Finding another dragon. Can it kill us? Dramoka, whatever they tutor. Dragon Lord Slumgar. I don't think that's enough. I don't think it's enough. We'll see. We'll see. Field of Ruin. We know our opponent's hand. Can we overcome the dragons with Trespassers, Curse, and Hunted Creatures? Here comes Slubgar. What's Slubgar going to steal? Uh, if they steal Blood Artist, does that beat us? It might. Uh, Slumgar. Yeah, because our opponent's stuff is going to resolve first. Uh, takes Blood Artist. Attacks, kills Hunted Troll, gains a life. Wow. We need to draw something that isn't in our deck. Down to eight. Wow. Dragon Lord Slumgar just beat us. Oh, no. Play Blood Artist. Pass the turn. Well, what do you got, opponent? What do you got? If we untap and could resolve Hunted Troll, then we win. Otherwise, <laughs> Dragon Lord Slumgar taking our Blood Artist. We had the combo kill set up. And this was a mauled five. We mauled a five. And we're so close to getting the kill. All right, opponent, what do you got? We know one of their cards is Dragon Lord Dramoka. Man, the way the stack works, the problem that we're having is the way the stack works on our turn, our opponent's blood artist triggers from our blood artist would resolve first. So our opponent would gain enough life that they wouldn't die to our trespassers curses. Opponent. Sarkin. Yeah, I was not expecting Slumgar. Loots. Icefall region discarded. Opponent. Gets it. Down to five. Opponent. What do you got? Dramoka in one unknown passes. Well, I'm assuming this means they have a counter. Play Hunted Troll. Oh my goodness, they didn't have it. They didn't have it. It was a bluff. We get the triggers. Our Blood Artist comes through. Our opponent gains life, but our Blood Artist beats our Blood Artist that our opponent stole. And we got the combo kill through the dragons, stealing our Blood Artist. Wow. All right. Forbidden Hunted Path, 
Well, not much pain Armonicons, but it worked ish. Our opponent's definitely on a rogue brew, but wow, we go to one. We go to one. And we got there all the way to one. So close. What a match. What a game. And we get the win. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Oh, he was looking grim when Slumgar stole our Blood Artist. What a crazy match. Opponent's deck looks sweet, too. Opponent had uh, all kinds of spice. Whoo. All right. Off to, uh, yeah. Good, good start in that one. Sweet. So, Forbidden Hunted Path version 2, I mean, it wasn't extremely better than the original version. We played a couple of matches, we comboed off once, we won another match, so I feel like it was a little bit more consistent and a little bit more powerful, but it might just be that we ran better, and I think that... This deck will always be one of those decks where, you know, once out of every five or ten games, you're going to have the hand where everything comes together, and that hand is just absolutely insane and absolutely awesome, but the rest of the games, you're going to be stuck with hunted creatures in your hand, and you're going to be playing illness in the ranks that do literally nothing. So I think this is a really fun idea, and I could imagine maybe playing it on the kitchen table, but not only would I not want to take this to a tournament, I don't think it's really fixable. I I think you can uh, maybe build a janky deck that uses some of the pieces. Like, you can build a good Blood Artist deck. Maybe there's some way you can build a Trespasser's Curse deck. That's a bit more of a stretch. Uh, there are combos with Hunted Phantasm and, like, Beck Call and Aether Vial. But we just have too many disjointed pieces doing too many disjointed things for Forbidden Hunted Path really in any form to be competitive. So it was fun in the games that we comboed off. We did have a better record with the updated version. Although, like I said, that might just be variance. It might be that if we just kept playing games, we eventually would have won, you know, one out of two games with the original build as well. So I don't know. The deck is fun. It doesn't have Panharmonicon. It's really cool when it combos off. It just doesn't combo off enough to really be competitive and when I say really be competitive I mean really even be a tiny bit competitive so I don't know I guess this was one of those against the odds much of brew week but it was still fun and it was really cool when we got to kill our opponent by giving them tokens so we went through a lot of pain but we eventually did get rewarded Anyway, that has been our Much Brew for this week. Forbidden Hunted Path, both versions 1 and 2, for Modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.